What's up, guys? It's me, Boxing, and today I'm going to be predicting the outcome of Ryan Garcia versus Luke Campbell, which will be a 12 rounder for the interim WBC Lightweight World Championship. And this will be Saturday, January 2nd, from the American Airlines Center in Dallas, Texas. And this will be broadcasted on the zone in the United States and Sky Sports Abroad. And again, to both fighters, Ryan Garcia, he has an unbeaten record of 20-0 with 17 wins coming away of knockout. He's fighting out of Victorville, California, now training with Eddie Reynoso in San Diego. He is currently ranked number 9 by Boxtrek, and he has some decent wins. And first of all, he's got excellent power, as no other fighter has knocked out Romero Duno in one round and Francisco Fonseca. But um, those fights really are top 30 opposition as opposed to Let's just say Luke Campbell's opposition, which are top 15, more like top 10. Well, to dig into that Francisco Fonseca fight, he w it was his first time headlining a card, and it was um, on Valentine's Day, February 14, 2020, and he landed a beautiful left hook. And I just have to say, Ron Garcia's left hook is lethal, and that put Francisco Fonseca out. And then uh, against Romero Duno was the co-main event on the Canelo Alvarez versus uh, Sergey Kovalev uh, main card, and he won... The uh, a left hook knockout in the first round. He landed a 1-2, which initially hurt Duno. Then he landed a phantom punch that hit him right on the temple, as they say. It really didn't even look like it landed, but you could really see that it grazed right at the top of Duno's um, head and it messed up his equilibrium, and he was not able to recover from that. But I just wanted to shine some light on Ryan Garcia's fight versus Carlos Morales, which took, which took place at the end of 2018, where he did get a majority decision there, and when you look at Carlos Morales, he isn't really too great of a fighter, and the fact that Ryan Garcia tried to um, start out very strong and try to get an early knockout like usual, but the thing is, after five rounds, it was all Morales, and that's the rounds where some of the judges gave it to Morales and gave it a draw. He was easily able to um, out-punch and out-work Ryan Garcia after five rounds. So I wonder how he's going to look against a guy who's top 10 opposition, top 10 fighter, former Olympic gold medalist, and a southpaw. I wonder how Ryan Garcia is going to do against a guy who's never been stopped, um, hangs in there with some of the top opposition, and who's got decent power as well. But um, to get into his opponent, Lou Campbell, as I was saying before, he has a record of 20 wins with 3 defeats and 16 wins coming by way of knockout. He's currently ranked number 8 by box track. And first of all, I don't really know how Ryan Garcia is ranked number 9. Not to hate on Ryan Garcia, he's a good fighter, but I don't know how when you're facing Fonseca and Duno that you're number 9 in the world. I mean, when you look at Lou Campbell's wins, they're 10 times better than Ryan Garcia's. So, yeah, but I'll dig into that a little later when I go into uh, Lou Campbell's resume. Uh, Luke Campbell's losses, most of them are by uh, split decision, except that one Lomachenko fight. Um, in all of them, he's never been stopped. But in all those fights, he has been knocked down. Against Lomachenko, he got knocked down late. Mendy, he got dropped early. And Jorge Lonares, he got dropped early. But in all those fights, he started out worse. But as the fight went on, he um, stuck in there and ended strong. Um, but in that Lomachenko fight, he just wasn't able to figure out Loma, as Lomachenko is really a tricky southpaw and very tough to land shots on him. But I am not really anyone shining light on this, but Campbell really hurt Lomachenko really badly in the seventh round of their fight. He landed a beautiful uppercut and then followed up by a right hook. And Lomachenko was hurt and he was holding on. He he was really hurt in that fight. But um, that Jorge Lonares fight was for the WBA Level World Championship. And as I said before, Lonares was able to drop Campbell early. But Campbell fought back and won many of the other rounds. And I thought he possibly could have made a case for him winning that fight. But his fight versus Ivan Mendy, the first fight actually, um, he did get dropped early as I said before. And it really was a very close fight and a really eye-opening fight for Luke Campbell, as he was only 13-0 at the time, I believe so, while Mendy already had over 30 fights. And in that rematch for Sivan Mendy, as most of you guys know, he did win via comfortable, unanimous decision over Mendy. Um, I score the fight personally 118-110 in favor of Luke Campbell. And he really outboxed Ivan Mendy, showing why, as uh, time goes on, you get to mature as a fighter, and uh, that... Um, new hungry lions beat the old veterans as Ivan Mendy, as I said before, was a 30 plus five veteran. And Luke Campbell was, I believe, 16 and one at the time going into that fight, maybe 18 and two. I'm not really too sure, but um, he looked very good in that rematch with Ivan Mendy. 
And then he also has a knockout win over Darles Perez in the ninth round of their outing. And he was controlling that fight. Darles Perez used to really be a threat in the lightweight division back when he was fighting Anthony Carolla and he, when he was the WBA lightweight world champion. But um, all those uh, Campbell losses, as I said before, were to top opposition at the time. Yvonne Mendy was a top 10 lightweight at the time. Jorge Linares, um, number 5, arguably top 3. Lomachenko at the time was number 1 in the world pound for pound and the number 1 lightweight. But um, overall, many people are saying this is a 50-50 fight, including myself. Even though Ryan Garcia hasn't fought anyone at the caliber of Luke Campbell has, or even in Luke Campbell's losses, but... um, Ryan Garcia, like, you could see the power, you could see the skill in him, even though the opponents he faced are in top 10 opposition. Um, but Luke Campbell, he's a former Olympic gold medalist, he's a southpaw, and since when has Ryan Garcia faced a southpaw in recent times? Um, I believe the last southpaw he faced was an unknown, in my opinion, quote-unquote, to Mayo can. And I just don't see how Ryan Garcia is going to knock out Luke Campbell early with one shot, because Luke Campbell just stays in there, even though he's been dropped, he has a pretty good chin, because he's able to get up from those knockdowns and fight back and win some rounds. Um, Ryan Garcia, I think his best chances are in the first five rounds. If he can't get Campbell out in the first five or even drop him a couple times, then it's over for him and he's going to lose that fight. Ryan Garcia, I really think he has to knock out Campbell and go on him. And if I were Luke Campbell, I would try and Stick around for the first three rounds, try and counter Ryan Garcia. Even though Garcia's got the faster hands, timing always beats speed. And he could really win this fight, Luke Campbell. In my opinion, this is really a 60-40 fight in favor of Luke Campbell for the experience, for his uh, amateur pedigree. Even though both had more than 200 amateur fights, I would say being that he's at an international level, Luke Campbell, he's fought many better guys, and he's won an Olympic gold medal. Um, Luke Campbell, as I said before, he's a very tricky southpaw. He's very lengthy, and this is the first time a Ryan Garcia is really facing an opponent that's really his height, and that's a very good fighter. So my final prediction is that if this fight goes past five rounds, it will be Luke Campbell by close unanimous decision or split decision or majority decision because I think Campbell wins on points. But um, being that this is a golden boy show and it's obviously on the zone, I think that Ryan Garcia is going to get the edge in the scoring, being that they wouldn't want to give it to a guy, Luke Campbell, who's not a golden boy fighter, who really, in my opinion, doesn't make a lot of big bucks when it comes to bigger fights. Like Ryan Garcia versus Devin Haney would be literally signed and made after um, Ryan Garcia beats Luke Campbell if that happens, being that they've had trash talk before, they make a very good fight. They're both undefeated young fighters, and they both have WBC world titles if Ryan Garcia could win this fight. So overall, my final prediction is that Luke Campbell wins via close split decision over Ryan Garcia, and I think he will control the pace later on and get um, the interim WBC lightweight world title. And uh, yeah, that's really it. I'm me boxing. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.